When I was growing up, it was uh, one of those, would I ever get married? Because who would want to marry a dwarf or, you know, fall in love with somebody like myself? My usual type would be a tall guy. Cool. <laughs> I don't think you can choose who you fall in love with. There are lots and lots of type of dwarfisms, uh, over 200 types of dwarfism or conditions, if you like. And I have one of the rarest ones, which we call diastrophic dysplasia. Obviously, being at three foot seven, it's uh, tricky sometimes, um, but I, I, I can do everything that you can do just in a different way. Obviously, because we look a little bit different, we're shorter and we have different hands, uh, you know, I have hitch, hitch, what we call hitchhiker thumbs and, um, you know, short, stubby uh, fingers, um, my li little chipolatas, as I like to call them. Um, and then I have uh, club feet as well, so my feet are a bit different. So uh, they're probably the, the, the most noticeable, apart from my height, uh, differences. I'm really thankful that I have a car as well. I have a specially adapted car. Um, so my pedals are raised uh, on, on, in the car so I can drive the car and drive for miles, <laughs> um, which I, I really enjoy. There's all sorts of things that I can just uh, twiddle up and, and, and get on with it, to be honest. So it took um, about eight months for us to go official since our first date. Honestly, I did have um, fears about how people would react. Sarah, Chloe's mum, uh, who had a little bit more of a reservation because uh, she was uh, not sure about, oh, oh, that's, this is different because Chloe's always dated and been with you know, taller guys. Uh, and I think the reservations were more along the lines of, oh, how's my health? Um, what happens if you have a child with dwarfism, etc. So they're all understandable. Uh, and now, as we are, five years married, two-year-old, uh, living life, living the dream. I always knew I wanted a big wedding with lots of people, all my friends and family, um, and I think Jay was the same. So we got married in the church that my sister got married in, so we kind of carried on the tradition. Yeah, lots of people, um, a big celebration, exactly what I wanted. Right. Just having Olivia has taught us so much and um, having children just changes your life, doesn't it? And it's brilliant. I definitely think there's someone out there for everyone. Um, perhaps not who you would um, imagine. Our love story has taught us and taught others that um, you can't judge a book by its cover and just to love the person, no matter who they are, really. And there came to a point where I had to say to myself that um, dwarfism doesn't own me, I own the dwarfism. I just wanted to be uh, the same as everybody else and just live my life uh, in, in, in a big way in a little body. Yeah.